Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, uh, I said we were going to go finish off some bounties, and there is our next bounty there. Now, something else has happened. Uh, we've had a load of scaffolding put up outside our house, and I haven't been able to do any recording. In my entire holiday, of which has been about seven days so far, uh, I've recorded about four videos which is actually getting me really concerned <laughs> so I need to do some serious recording today uh, however I can't because I've got to go over um, do some things with a friend uh, uh, time man Jesus um, so we are going to um, crack on with this a little bit today uh, I've also got another game that I need to record today and another new series I need to record today and I've kind of agreed a couple of days ago to record something else with someone else and I, eesh, Jesus uh, and that is not the other project that I recorded with somebody else at the beginning of this holiday uh, all go anyway uh, because I couldn't record and carry on any of the story I did some grinding so you may you may have noticed <laughs> vase was level 60 last time we played he's now level 80 Enrique was level 55, he's now level 75. So we've gone up 20 levels. 20 levels. Um, yeah, and I think I was just grinding for about... Well, it was probably about 8 hours game time. And we're nearly on 2 million gold as well. Uh, but I, I think it was more like 4 hours, because I had it on... Um, speed up <laughs> I had it on fast forward mode whilst I was catching up with uh, some of Jimmy Fails uh, LPs of Space Siege so anyway let's go go take out this bounty isn't it a little fishy for a boat being out uh, out sailing alone way out here moving closer let's have a little look Ho ho ho, so this is the ship of the infamous vase, huh? Not bad, not bad, of course. I would have it painted in gold and purple. Gold makes everything look better. Mm, okay. Vase! Over there! Vase, I presume. My name is Daiko Kuya. Very nice to finally meet your acquaintance. What? You mean to tell me that you're the same uh, Daiko Kuya that's got a bounty on his head? Well, how many people could there be called that? Uh, as the wealthiest man in Yafatoma, I lived a life of luxury. I have no want of material possessions, and yet I felt unsatisfied. Um, then I heard about your adventures in Yafatoma and realized then that the life of an air pirate was the life that I had been craving. So I bought a ship, got together a crew and built this machine, Tama, for my personal use. I wanted to travel the skies in search of fun and excitement, just like you, Vase. Well, it's not all fun and games, you know. Nevertheless, I believe that it was fate that we have met this day. I think your head would make a fine trophy for me to take home. Uh, hmm. Sounds good. Only problem is you'll have to beat me first. <laughs> Fool, there's nothing in this world that money can't buy. Very well, unguard vase. I shall make you remember this day. Here goes. Uh -huh. Okay, you're a very strange looking fellow. Now this guy... This guy's kind of... Oh, actually, he sh well, being level 80, he shouldn't be that bad. Um, but what we are going to do... Wow, we have 31 spirit points straight off the bat. I forgot about that. Um, we are going to focus. Um, we're going to get... Oh, also, everybody has every magic spell as well. Um, we're also going to go for a Delta Shield. You know, you start casting glyphs of might on people uh, do I want you to focus I mean I guess you could focus 
or you can just glyph of might yourself, I suppose. That works. And he's going to use magic, that's fine. Now he actually does have a variety of magic spells, but he doesn't seem to always use them that often. I did try fighting this guy um, a while ago, uh, but then the video screwed up. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, the video didn't screw up. Um, I was having a lot of noise pollution from outside the window. So I decided to mute my mic uh, and pause the game. And then I continued recording the game, but I forgot to unpause my, my microphone. Because I'm a stupid ass. Right, okay, so good stuff. We are going to... You know what? We're just going to keep focusing. Uh, we're going to use Delta Shield. Sure. Uh, Glyph of Might, I guess. Who needs Glyph of Might? Iker, I suppose. Are you going to focus? Nah, you know what? I guess you could use Justice Shield, to be fair. Just to protect us a little bit, if we need it. We really can power through the spirit gauge here. Yeah, it like costs next to nothing to do this. It's fantastic. And I think there's only one bounty left. Now, we still have the black looper to defeat, but we can't do that yet, I don't think. And we have... Um, We've got the Black Looper to do. Oh, and another secret boss. This is his ultimate attack, which actually, if you don't do Justice Shield, it's quite painful. And um, we have somebody confused, which is not great. So we need to cure that. All right, Vase is going to continue focusing. We should be able to do Prophecy soon. Now this guy is kind of interesting because if we, um, yeah, we could actually do, pro oh, we can do prophecy now. All right, well, let's do that then. It literally uses all of our powers. I didn't think you could do it if one of your members was confused. How interesting. Unfortunately, you can't seem to skip this, but we can fast forward it. <laughs> Now this is going to kill all of his men. Now the beauty of killing all of his men is he's what he will most likely do now. He will summon up to three bodyguards. Um, but because we've killed all of his bodyguards, he's probably going to waste his turns. Um, oh, Enrique isn't. Confused. Okay, that's confusing. Uh, now, we could go for a Glyph of Speed, I suppose. Glyph of Might, who needs that? Just Fina. Uh, I mean, Fina is pretty weak. Uh, I guess we could use it on Fina, I suppose. Or, what we actually could do is use special move. Let's get Lunar Blessing. Get a little bit of regen for everybody. Um, and I don't think we're going to have to worry about focusing on anything. Because... I'm pretty sure he's just going to summon his dudes. And having a little bit of regen is going to be quite nice. I mean, it's not going to hold back all of the damage or repair. Yeah, see, look, he's just going to generate bodyguards, which is fine. Now, the bodyguards will heal him sometimes, but they only like heal him a thousand, and we can easily out-damage that. Holy crap. Focusing really is quite good now. <laughs> you can really um, pull back some damage. 
uh, pull back some spirit points. Really nice. Okay, cool. So, I guess, just going to keep focusing. You, make sure you keep that going. Fina, uh, I'm going to want you to heal. All allies. And do you know what? He's probably... He's... He's probably going to summon another dude. But you never know. You never know. You never know how this is going to go down. I mean, you can usually predict him. But... I don't want to scream. Oh, Eternus. Yeah, good thing that we did use um, Delta Shield. Because that could have been really bad. Wind Slash. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this. Might just get her pumping out those um, Sacrum Crystals. Probably going to be a good idea. Now, can we use Prophecy again? Oh, it's so close! Dude! So freaking close. You know what? Just get a glyph of speed going. Just because. We'll use that. You. I want you to use... Just use a Sacrum Crystal. We're just going to burn this turn. Powering ourselves up. Because we can do Prophecy next turn. That ain't no problem. <clears throat> I mean, you shouldn't really be able to hit us back with anything. I do love the fact he's sitting on a lucky cat. Do they call them lucky cats? I know we call them lucky cats here. Oh no, Ika's confused. That's not fantastic. We shall soon see if that's thrown a wrench in the works. I'm hoping it hasn't. Can we still use Prophecy? Wind Slash? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Ika's confused. No, she's not. Okay, I don't know why that's disappearing. Um, but hey, whatever. Not sure why um, the confusion is disappearing as soon as we take control of her. Oh, wait, hang on. I think I've got a... I've, yes, I think I equipped her with a ring on the video that we didn't that didn't come out properly. Yeah, that um, makes her immune to confusion. Which I think, anyway, I might double check that after the battle because I would have thought it would have just resisted it instead of applying the effect and then removing it. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Ooh, one more prophecy and he is done, son. Let me move one of my tablets out of the way. Ugh, God. Okay, right, so. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just go for Sacrum Crystal and... Oh, dear. Yeah, just keep chipping away. This seems to be a winning formula. Uh, do you want to use another Sacrum Crystal? Maybe, because... Ah, shit, I should have... That's fine. He's probably going to burn his turn summoning a guard anyway. Probably. Delta Shield is probably the most important one. Yeah, Bodyguard. Here we go. Hmm. Boom! Boo's back. Back again. Nice. God, I remember when those um those crystals pretty much healed us completely. Now they're useless. Well, they're not useless, but they don't really heal much. But then saying that, when we first started this game, um the five hundred the basic crystals that cured 500, they were just like insanity overkill. Right, focus. You know what to do. Focus. Justice Shield. And I don't know how important using Justice Shield is. 
because I'm pretty sure he's going to summon a guard again. Maybe, but hey, whatever. We can pretty much tank just about any damage as well. So that's fine. Oh, look, he's going to use magic. Well, that was silly. You've wasted your turn, sir. That sword we've got looks pretty cool. Wow, you've healed him a thousand HP. To be fair, that might just be enough HP to, uh, oh, good, to make him survive this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call forth the power of the ancients. Go smash a moon into his face. Yeah, literally. Ah, oh, son of a. <laughs> He's got like the tiniest bit of health left. Everybody just attack. Oh, I could have actually used a decent move, but that's fine. Nope, that's all he needed. We did. Nice. Ah, oh, look at all that glorious experience. Glorious. Hey, nice. Not going to argue with that. Yeah, look, everybody's... Hey, and we got the Parax Idol. Now, that Parax Idol isn't a guaranteed drop. I give up. You win. I wouldn't have expected any less of you. I think I'm smitten with you. Uh-oh. That power. That strength. I guess there really are some things in this world that money can't buy. You've learned quite an important lesson. So why don't you just stop wasting your money and quietly go home? You are speaking to the one and only Daiko Kuya. While I promise to cause no more trouble, I will not discontinue my travels around the world. <laughs> You're an energet energetic old guy, aren't you? Well, well, if it isn't Vase, we managed to get ourselves lost in this frigid. If it isn't Vase. Hey, you know. Who do you think you're talking to? We managed to get ourselves lost in this frigid place. I'm frozen stiff. I was hoping that you'd warm me up. Uh oh. What, warm, warm you up? You're joking, right? Only partly. But I know your love belongs to someone else. I guess this means I found yet another thing that money cannot buy. What? Old oh, man, calm down. Well, Vase, you sure are popular these days. So I wonder who Vase has the hots for then. It's got to be Ica, right? All hands on deck, <laughs> prepare for emergency escape. Is that all hands on dick at a deck? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, he's blatantly got the hots for Ica. I mean, it's it's written in the stars, for God's sakes. Okay, so another one down. I suppose we'll go turn that bounty in straight away. Um, and then we need to find out when the last bounty was. Let's just go down south, sure. Go back to Sailor's Island. And then we've got one bounty left. I can't remember where he is. Or whether we can actually go do him yet. I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, thought as much. We have overshot the island. God damn it. No matter. No matter at all. Right. Let's go. Sink deep. We really are doing the Lord's work around here, aren't we? Right, let's go sell the bounty. Or claim the bounty, I suppose. I cannot believe it! Sky Battle King Vase! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. 20,000. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I thought it would be a bit more than that, but sure. Ah, right. Lord Zilvian Bane. Mysterious leader. Yeah, supposed leader of an infamous clan of bandits. Nothing is known about his true identity. Nobody knows where he's from. Little is known about his fighting tactics. 
other than his use of explosive powder. Avoid this attack at all costs. I think with Lord Sylvian, let's just wake up my other tablet a minute. Come on, yeah. I think this guy, funny enough, bounties. Right, so I'm pretty sure if I search. Zero zero eight, go. Nope, zero zero six. This guy, I think we actually come in contact with him, um, on purpose, like through the story. So let's have a little look. Raise the legend, right? So we've done him. Now. Yeah, according to this guy, it says he's quite tough. So he can be found by activating right. Okay, so we have to get him through story means. Okay, so basically, from what I can understand, we are up to date on everything. That's pretty much all of the side stuff in the game done, except for the black looper, which I'm pretty sure we can't do yet, and the... Um... And him. Oh, and no, there is one extra secret boss as well. But again, that's like, we can't worry about that for a while. Um, right, so I guess we're going to go back to our island with the plans that we have stolen. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go shoot this guy down on the way. Just because we can. Just to doubly make sure that we've... Oh, look at that little thing. Now you will feel the power of the value and empire. Prepare to face the destructive powers of the magic cannon. The magic cannon, he says. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh. Blow it out your ass, dude. Can you even survive one volley? No. No. That thing looks like a little tadpole. Get out of here. Not even worth our time. Oh, actually, we could have sold the idol whilst we were there. That's fine. It matters not. Right, let's get up and out of the sky. We want to go east. And then north. Pretty sure. Uh, nope. We're actually just about there. There we go. Home sweet home. Crescent Island. Um, now what? <laughs> huh? Well? Toothless Joe? What's this? These are plans to enable a ship to enter deep sky? Can you use these plans to modify the Delphinus? Darn tootin', but it'll take some time. Yeah, I can't wait to get started. Can I... I can have it done in 10 days? Well, what does that mean? Good, if anyone can do it, it's you. 10 days. You gave the ship schematics to Barbham. Ooh. Uh, the schematics got bigger. Modifications to the Delphinus began on that day. We needed 10 days to finish our preparations. Crescent Isle began to bustle with activity. Yeah, even Marcus is helping out. Using the blueprints that we took from Valua, uh, Babraham was hard at work rebuilding the engine of the Delphinus. I can't wait to see what lies deep in deep sky with my own eyes. Yeah, we've kind of accomplished quite a lot. Far beneath the great blue sky, beneath the clouds, I can already imagine that the atmospheric pressure must be high. We must reinforce the Delphinus hull to make sure that it doesn't collapse under the pressure. Ever since that day, Enrique has began to spend more and more time by himself. Looking back, losing Gregorio must have been the hardest thing Enrique has ever faced. Yeah, probably. That's pretty harsh. 
And then, on the tenth day, night fell on Crescent Isle. I remember lying awake in bed for a long time before I finally fell asleep. Really pretty um, cinematography sometimes in this game. Still holds up reasonably well. I still don't feel rested. Maybe because I stayed up all night the day before yesterday working on the Delphinus. I should have it over to the port. If everything went according to schedule, the modification should be finished by now. Hey. Right, let's go have a little look, shall we? Um, let's double check something before we do that. See if we can buy anything. Uh, you got anything for me, dude? I've got a collection of them. Yes, yes, yes. Buy and sell. Anything good? No. Of course not. Actually, we can sell stuff to you. Uh, right. Uh, we'll hold on to those for now. Ice Splitter. I think we've already, what we've already got is better than that. Light Dress. Greatly increases wearer speed. Maybe we'll hold on to that. I've got a lot of things here. Protects against silence. Might hold on to that. Protects against poison. Sure. Whoa, black map. We've got 35 of these. We need one of them. <laughs> Potentially. Sell all but one of those. Counter Bracer. Yeah. Protects against sleep. It's actually quite useful. Yeah, we don't need two of those. Thief. Improves the wearer's dodge and defense. Well, I'll sell five of those. I guess. Defense four. Improves defense. Improves defense by 40. That's... Not an insignificant amount. Floor heaters, you, well, kind of only need one of those. Might get ourselves two million gold, you know? Makes me wonder. Ooh, oh. Makes me wonder if we're actually, like, wealthier than that fellow we just defeated. Now. Ah, whoa. Yeah. 25k. Sure. Nearly up to two million. Nearly. Uh, we probably don't need like any of this stuff. Bombs. Get rid of those. Frost bombs. Definitely not going to get to two million here. But big bomb. All right. I thought that. I thought we had seventy-five of those. Okay. Whatever. I cannot work in this paltry environment. How do you expect me to forge legendary weapons in these conditions? I require more sophisticated tools. All of the modifications that I need to make this area adequate will cost 4,000 gold. 4,000 gold? Pfft. Yeah, sure. It's good to know that you appreciate quality. I'll have my shop remodeled by the time you return to the island. Well... Well, 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 that sounds like a plan. Do you need anything? Let me tell you, Captain, I feel so lucky to be part of your crew. There aren't quite as many men like you in the world anymore. But just give me the sign and I'll show you just how womanly I... Anyway, time we were leaving. Yeah, uh, well, you... Yeah, you... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, see you later. I think Vase already has his eye on a different woman. Just saying. Alright. For no particular reason. Alright. Just, uh, just, just getting away from you now. What is it with Vase? He's got old men on him. Old women on him. Jeez. Dude can't catch a break without someone throwing their panties at him. I mean, I suppose some people would like that, but... Old vase here. 
Right, let's go. I should probably ask old uh, Brab. What is it? Brab Brabham. If he's finished with the modifications before we leave. Yeah, yeah. Let's not assume everything ship shape in Bristol fashion. Oh, Captain Vase, we finished modifying the Delphinus. Right on time. Excellent. Lower the pressure shutters. Ah, oh, he Naruto runs. Oh god, he actually Naruto runs. Oh dear. Give that boy a slap. Start the submergence engine. Well, what do you think? We have successfully converted the Delphinus into a cloud delving machine. Good job, Abraham. Now we'll be able to enter Deep Sky. You really are the best. Why, thank you, little lady. Before you go, I've heard there's some sort of vortex near Shrine Island. You might be able to submerge through there. The vortex near Shrine Island? Got it. All right, everyone, let's get going. Faze, wait a second. Actually, there's something important I wanted to talk to you about. I must return to Valua. I cannot travel with you any longer. This will be my last voyage with you aboard the Delphinus. Really? After all this frickin' time of levelling you up? What? Galcian and the Armada have freed themselves from the control of the Valuant Empire and are acting on their own free will. Galcian probably has some sort of terrible scheme planned. I must return to Valua and report this news to my mother. He must be stopped. You, you can't. It's too dangerous, Enrique. I know the dangers that I face, and I'm sure that my mother won't readily listen to anything I have to say, but I am still Prince of Valua. It is my duty to go. Yes. But Enrique... Princess, do not worry about me. I don't plan on dying just yet. I will... I will return. This, I swear. No. Yes. She says no, but her voice line says yes. Okay. It is odd that there's literally like one voice line per character. It's usually one word as well. Vase. After we get Fina's ship, could you bring me to Sailor's Island? I'll be able to borrow a ship there. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, that sounds kind of risky, but I mean, hey ho, diddly dum, that's up to you. I guess. Right, let's drop a save. And with that, we're ready to set sail. So, it's going to be down to us three again. Interesting. Oof, okay. So, yeah. I think we do get him back anyway, eventually. I think we actually get a choice of characters that we can continue with. But, I kind of feel a bit, well, I say a bit stupid for leveling him up. We haven't technically wasted anything because um, we've powered up Vase and the three main heroes. So, mm. anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.